well, anyhow, I always have problems with the size of this. Uh, so I just wanted to show you a different approach because the one that uh, Daniel was showing you was using a uh, um, kind of 3D sculpting program that uses uh, basic shapes to combine them and to draw them and so on. This is another approach that is more organic and gives you the possibility to do something more natural looking, let's say. So you start out with uh, a sphere and you can just uh, like using it with clay, you can just create the shapes. You can have the possibility to have it, here you go, we're doing some kind of a deer or something like that. You can move it around, you can change the various size of the brushes. The brushes can have various uh, effects. You can use them to flatten, to pinch, to smooth the surfaces. And the, all these shapes can then be exported in a kind of file that can then be used for 3D printing. And this is an idea to have a different kind of, um, of, of objects in the end. I wanted to show you a small, very small movie that will show you something about the software because I have to admit I'm not very good at the sculpting. So it's uh, better if I show you people that are really good at doing it. Here we go. And you have an idea in a, this is obviously a speed up, speed up. But you can have an idea of the possibilities that these kinds of software then give you. Yeah, the software is free? Yes, yes, I, sorry I didn't sell. This is free it's for various platforms. This is the free version of a professional one that is called ZBrush. This is called Sculptress. And it gives you the possibility of uh, manipulating uh, the object. You can start with a round shape or you can use a flat shape. You can combine more of them to give you various kinds of uh, places to start up with. And you can end up with very complex shapes and so on. If you have a look at YouTube, for example, you will see hundreds of things made by very talented uh, people and sculptors. And as you can see, you can model everything and in the end come out with some strange creature or <laughs> whatever kind of uh, object. And I wanted to show you also, okay, here we are, while well, he continues moving around and show. I wanted to show you an object, some of the objects that you can see are also sold on uh, Shapeways and various 3D printing services, professional services, where you can buy uh, an object or when you can put your files for other people to buy the object from. So if you're very good at drawing but you don't have the possibilities to sell your objects where you are, for example, also in a developing country where you can't have access to the right kind of people that have the money to buy your stuff you can design something very nice and very cool looking and put it in this online services and then when they get paid for the object you will have a part of the of the money that they will earn so it's a way of being able to show people the things that you are capable of doing even in other countries like this one and uh, it, it's just another approach to this kind of, uh, of design that I wanted to show you just to have an idea that you can have all kinds of uh, various objects that you can create, more organic ones or more geometrical ones. So it was just very short. <laughs> Just very briefly, because we are running out of time, I want to show you just because uh, our group of um, Science Simulation Unit is very proud of uh, exploring new technology every time we can, uh, we like to show you something that is not a standard computer. So software for tablets. So now tablets are becoming very common, and uh, you can do very good, uh, simple maybe, but very good uh, 3D modeling using tablets. Because actually, the tablet is based on the on the touch input uh, interface, and the touching the screen is always uh, probably the best way instead of using a mouse to create uh, 3D models. Uh, very simply, uh, there are many applications. There are viewers for 3D models, like uh, this one, for example where you can manipulate an object and zoom 
in and out. And those are all, all, all the applications I'm showing to you are free. So you can use those applications just to check if your model is, is working well. Like this is, uh, this is the free version of um, NetFab. Uh, there is a free, uh, sorry, a tablet version of MeshLab. It is another application that we will see tomorrow that is used for repairing um, models uh, that you can still use for uh, checking if the model appears uh, correctly. This is the Calabiao uh, uh, STL file produced by, uh, by Oliver. And uh, you can have some information about the file. Uh, sorry, here. Um, but it's very basically just a viewer. Uh, another one, maybe interesting, is 3D Scope. is also free. That I'm showing you the same file. This one gives you also. Uh, you can change the, the perspective. You can change the um, field of view. Uh, it is uh, uh, is free, but you have to to pay. Looking at the, at the advertisements, so uh, is advertised pay is uh, freeware. But you can have um, you can cut uh, the object in section. You can move the, the, the cutting planes, you can do few few things. But you cannot create objects with those applications. Uh, another one just to show you is KV Viewer, it's also free. This one gives you a few more information about the object. Uh, sorry, not here, but here. Uh, the number of uh, vertexes, the number of faces, uh, um, and a few more things, not, not very much. If you go to something more interesting for us, we can create object with a tablet. Uh, the equivalent of SketchUp for a tablet uh, is the free software from Autodesk, 123D Design, um, where you can um, you can create your own objects. This one I already created here. Uh, it's very simple, but you go with the same philosophy of SketchUp. You create basic uh, uh, figures starting from uh, from primitives, like uh, you want a cube, you want a cylinder, you want a sphere. You drop it on, on the sheen. Then you can change the size. You can increase uh, different axes. You can rotate it. You can intersect with other figures and modify them. And so a lot of uh, nice uh, things you can do. Say you want to change uh, uh, some properties as well, like uh, here. Sorry, here you can change the curvature of, of the corners and things like that. So it's very simple but powerful enough. And then you can save uh, your designs on the on the cloud and export as STL and then print them. Uh, and this is free, not, not a bad idea. And, uh, another software uh, more similar to the Sculptris software is, uh, one through uh, is another Autodesk application, 123D Sculpt. Uh, it's basically the same idea. You can um, go to your object, uh, sorry, rotate it, and then you can pinch uh, and, sorry, and do whatever you want on your object and create uh, whatever you want. I'm not an artist at all. So uh, there are many of those tools, and every day there are new tools, new software applications coming. So don't be limited to the uh, usual environment of a desktop PC or your laptop. But uh, if you got a, a tablet or a smartphone even, there are applications that allow you to create objects by, by touching. What about Android? Uh, I don't know about Android, but uh, <laughs> probably there are applications for Android. I mean, those are free. Those are made available for usage of people. So I guess that programmers <laughs> are releasing uh, also applications for Android. There is a much bigger market for, for iPad tablet at the moment. Um, it is something like 90% of the market. But uh, soon there will be a market for Android tablet as well. And so probably application will, will grow. For smartphone, maybe easier even to have application for Android. <laughs> OK. Thank you.